Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you're all doing good. I'm feeling really good today. I had an awesome day with my children yesterday. And, uh, you know, no major fucking Facebook drama. That's good. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something that I've never done here before. This just came up in a part of this group called Acoustic Blues Pickers that I often post my uh, my videos in and, and uh, try to advertise this channel. <laughs> but uh, a fella put a comment and looking to learn really raw blues, how to learn raw blues playing. I'm about as raw as they get. I'm about as fucking primitive as you can come. I'm completely self-taught. Uh, you know, I've been playing slide guitar since I was uh, about 23. Um, and I'm going to give a little tutorial on what the fuck I do when I'm playing the blues. So hold on a hot minute. All right. This is my fucking war horse guitar. You can see it's covered in fucking dried blood. It says dirty on it. Got all kinds of fucking weird stickers by my friend Brian and uh, old band stickers and shit on it. Yeah, this is my old fucking war. Out of all the guitars I've owned, I've owned a lot of wicked guitars over the years and I've had to sell them all for rent. <coughs> I had a National Tricone copy I had to sell. <coughs> a Regal Dobro. Uh, sorry for my coughing. I'm thinking I'm getting a bit of a cold. Um, I've had a lot of really cool guitars. A lot of SGs. Um, I've had to sell them all for rent. But anyhow, this I've always kept this guitar because this is the guitar. Every single fucking song I've ever written, I've written on this guitar here. It's an old Vantage. I don't even know if this company still exists anymore. This was just a cheap $400 guitar when I bought it. You don't need a fucking fancy guitar. The reasons I bought this is because it has a solid cedar top. I like cedar as compared to spruce because it has a mellower sound, tone. I use uh, exclusively uh, silk and steel strings on this guitar. Uh, it's a thing I learned back in 1993. Uh... Uh, I can't remember who said they were good. Bob Brosman or something like that. I can't remember. But uh, I tried them and I like them. I like the gauge. I like the feel. They got a warmer sound, like a more mellow sound. They're not as hard on your fingers. So I always play finger style. Um, so I'm going to go through what I do. Uh, I Nine times out of ten, when I play, I play in open G tuning, which is the Spanish G. D, G, D, G, B, D. And uh, that's how you tune the strings. I, I, I won't go into how it all, you know, you can figure that out. That's how the strings are tuned. I don't even know if this guitar is complete. Like, it's in tune with itself. It might not be properly right in, in tune, but it, it works for me. So that's open G tuning. And... Uh, I use a variety of slides. Um, I use this little medicine bottle. Right now, these are the slides I'm using. Bone Daddy sent me these. This little medicine glass bottle slide. This is nice and light. Uh, and this really heavy piece of steel. that I. This is my favorite one I'm using right now. So, when you play open G, kind of the way I do it is uh, kind of, you almost ignore the low D string, you know. When Keith Richards plays in this tuning, he just rips his string right off. Because your drone note is going to be this G here, right? You always keep kicking on the G, right? No matter what you're doing, just keep kicking on that G. tuning guitar to an open tuning, it's in a diatonic tuning, it's not in a chromatic tuning, so pretty much you can just lay lay down the slide on any fret, and it, it'll make cohesive sound, you know, the one, the notes you want to pay attention to are the the 3, the 5, and the 7, mostly, when, and the 12, mostly when you play the blues, um, 
you know, some people play 12 bar. I try to play more like a slash and drone style. Just concentrating on rather than you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I just kind of keep it simple. figure it out, everything, it's really easy tuning to play in, open G, you know, and it's my favorite tuning, I keep my guitar basically all the time in this tuning, um, when it comes to playing guitar, you know, I play electric guitar, uh, I, I love playing in, in rock bands, I played with Joe Stavely for 20 years in rock bands, I love playing electric, but I much prefer playing acoustic guitar, and I'm a real fucking purist. I never, I don't put a, I don't have a pickup in this guitar. I always use a microphone in it, you know. And uh, now another way that I like to play is uh, is lap style. And the the way, the reason I start playing lap style is because, uh, well, I used to drink a lot, and uh, this was just the easy way <laughs> to fucking lean in and do it. Now, right now, for slides, I'm prim primarily, for lap style, I'm primarily using this old shoehorn. I use this mostly on my cigar box guitars. I've been using this butter knife. This is a great fucking heavy handle butter knife. You can use a fucking jackknife. You can use uh, anything, really, that May, you know, that'll hit the strings, you know, uh, what I use mostly for years is, and I still have it as a Stevens bar, which is like a kind of the gold standard for, uh, lap, lap players, you know, I got that when I owned a national, uh, lap steel electric guitar that I owned years and years ago, but, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, when you play lap style, you just kind of, you know, you just hold the thing like this, you just lean it on your lap. And the reason I like it is because when I drink and I could just like, it was much easier to do this and pick up my drink and have a drink. And, and it, I didn't, it was just easier to coordinate. So that's why I started playing lap style. All the songs I play bottleneck style, uh, which is when you got it up like this. Um, I play lap style too. It just depends how I'm feeling, you know. Uh, I I have a somewhere I have a bottleneck slide that I made. I don't know where I put it. I used to make bottleneck slides. I used to save up my liquor bottles, smash them, break off the jagged bits with a pair of pliers and rub it on the sidewalk till it was a good bottleneck slide but anyhow that's open g now the other tune the other tuning that i often will use is uh, and this is a tuning i actually started learning slide guitar in is a uh, vesta paul uh, or open d now okay so when you do that you this is right now, it's G, D, G, D, G, B, D. So what you want to do is you want to tune this a little differently. You want to tune the this G up to an A, which is what it would be tuned to in standard tuning. tune this uh, G to an F sharp, so you tune it down a bit, and you want to tune this B down to an A.
That's Open D. Now with Open D, it's more. Uh, it's actually more of a bluesy, like more more true, like what what you're used to hearing, uh, like Elmore James, like. <laughs> more strings with open D and you can kick it on the on the low D right started learning slide guitar um and i learned it all fucking by happenstance really uh just luck lucky there was no resources for that when i was learning it so that i could find anyway but book of white uh, is my favorite slide guitar player and he often would play in the in the best of paul tuning uh for his the songs you'd know him like aberdeen mississippi blues it's a real you can just fucking hammer on it you know but, uh, and it's good for making, like, like train, train sounds. Book of White uh, wrote a million fucking songs about trains, right? And this is a... really good tuning to represent uh, I'm not I can't do it like book a good but good tuning to represent uh, the lonely train sounds you know the idea so yeah open g and open uh open open d are my two main tunings you know another tuning that's really interesting is if you tune tune this uh f sharp back up to a uh cross note tuning now i've never been able to master this but skip james and book of white also played in this tuning a lot Lesson, eh? Uh, I'm not very good at that. Um, yeah, that's kind of my 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 half-ass fucking guitar lessons of how how I do shit. It's really simple. Uh, I don't. I've never learned. I never took a lesson or learned from anybody. I learned it all by all by my all by my little lonesome. 
uh, just listening to records and figuring it out, learning tunings out of guitar player magazines and old books I could find on the blues and stuff like that, you know. Uh, the blues is a fucking fantastic adventure. It's a great rabbit hole to fucking fall down into. I've been in it since I was a kid, you know, uh, when I first picked up a harmonica at the age of eight. Now, a lot of people would argue my uh, harmonica skills, <laughs> as I found uh, a lot of people don't think I'm that good a player. But I do what I do. I've been doing it for 40 years now. Uh, I've toured the country and sold award-winning records, played with Dan Aykroyd, <laughs> you know. So whether I can play good or not, I'm still happy with what I've done. I have a gear sponsorship too, Bone Daddy Microphones. playing more and more than most things playing harmonica is one of my favorite things i've ever done and i always say other than having my children it's the best decision i ever made with my life uh if i had never picked up a harmonica i wouldn't be i would be a much less fulfilled man you know and same with guitar, you know, like when I first picked up a guitar, I didn't really want to learn how to play like Eddie Van Halen. I wanted to play blues, you know, and nobody at the time, you know, in the 80s was really into that <laughs> uh, kind of thing that I knew. You know, I hung out with the punks and the skinheads, right? None of them fucking gave a shit about blues music. And, um... You know, like the, the couple lessons I tried to take and was told never to come back to again. Uh, the guy had no clue what I was looking to learn how to play. And I didn't even know how to explain it because I didn't know that you could play, uh, that you tuned your guitar differently for playing slide, right? I didn't even know that. I didn't find that out until 1993 when I happened to pick up a copy of guitar player magazine that was about slide guitar playing you know and i learned all these alternate tunings and it was like my world exploded my my life changed you know uh yeah so anyhow but the thing about playing slide blues guitar is basically tune your guitar you can tune your guitar to any open chord if you can figure it out, there's lots of info on the internet. I won't go into how do you tune it, because I'm not really good at that. I just tune it by ear. But uh, lots of information on the internet. Just look up uh, Spanish G and Vesta Paul D tuning, and uh, that'll give you all the information you need for how to tune it. But that's that's how I do it, you know? I just I keep it real simple. I don't play try to fucking play too many notes. find out what sounds good, right? tuning let it rip you know play with it and you'll figure out your sound the most important thing that i feel in blues music and blues guitar playing is not to copy other musicians it's to find your own voice you know find out how you're gonna play it um you know so many blue i always say there's a difference between blues musicians and musicians who play the blues now blues musicians are people who are trying to keep the oral tradition of, of old songs alive and writing their own songs. 
you know what I mean, in their own in their own voice. You know, when I cover people's songs, I don't learn them note for note the way those old people played them because that's not what they did. They just picked them up and played them how they would play it, right? And that's what the blues is to me, you know. Uh, modern blues music to me, that's what kind of wrecks it is that all these modern new players are, you know, just spending a lot of time on fancy new gear and learning things note for note and being fucking homogenized and word perfect and note perfect and all that shit. And they're not feeling it, you know. They're not fucking, you know, when I play, I play blues music because it hits me in the guts, right? It hits me in the heart. And it means a lot to me. It's like, you know, same reason I like punk rock, you know. It's real. It's in your face. It's it's heavy. You know, you put up fucking Sun House or Buckle White up to any fucking Metallica record or Megadeth record, and I swear to God, the blues guys are going to win for heaviosity, you know. So, yeah, you just keep it simple. Uh, you know, just basically learn the tunings and uh, get a slide that feels comfortable to you. Use whatever guitar feels comfortable to you. It doesn't matter. You know, uh, you can, it doesn't matter if it's a one-string guitar to a fucking 12-string guitar. It doesn't matter. As long as it feels good to you, tune it to an open chord and just let it rip. And uh, really, what's my fucking guitar lesson? <laughs> Dirty Pat Walsh style guitar lessons. I never ever fucking thought I would attempt to give a guitar lesson. It's funny, I'm I'm 48 years old and I watch I hang out with musicians who are fucking less than half my age and fucking 10 times the musician that I'll ever be, you know. But uh one thing I I I wouldn't trade my style for any anything, you know, cuz it's my voice. It's the voice that I've worked on my entire life, no matter how it holds up to any other any other player. It's how I do it, and it's how I sound. And that's what you should focus on when you play the blues music. You should figure out how you sound, what feels comfortable to you. Remember that you play the instrument, and it doesn't play you. You're playing the song. It's not playing you. And just fucking let her rip, man. And I tell you, the blues is a joy, a fucking excellent way to learn music. It's simple. It's the music of the people. It's from the streets, you know, and, uh, I swear, I swear, man, if you're thinking about learning blues, how to play slide guitar, blues music, just do it. Just fucking get, just that, you know, don't worry. Don't, don't worry about it. Just do it. All right, that's 25 minutes of your life that you're never getting back. I appreciate your time, and I hope you got something out of this lesson. But uh, until the next one, be well, stay free, and have a fucking awesome Sunday.